this is Mike, and today I'm working on the Z-axis of my Voron 2.4 R2. So let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm going to start work on the gantry. It looks like I have a bunch of steps to do. Let's just scroll through the directions and just take a look. So it looks like I'm going to need to install the belts with the idlers and the joints. I'm going to need to put the joint and the bearing blocks together. Again, working on those belts and get the orientations correct. And one of the fun problems I'm going to have is I'm trying to insert this gantry. I messed with it a little bit already, and I found that it's pretty tight. So I'll have to mess with that some more. Looks like the blocks to put in support everything. Maybe this won't be too bad. So what we need to do is let's start getting out all our pieces and we'll put this together. Now I may wind up breaking this into two different sections depending on depending on how hard it is put together and how long it takes me. Again, I'm trying to stick to about 20 to 30 minutes. And that's turning a little hard depending on these steps. So let's get to the, the very first step here and see what we need to do. So what I'm going to start with is finding the Z bearing blocks and pull all those out and so we can start putting things together. So I'm starting with the Z bearing blocks now. If you look at the directions, there's also an optional one for the Hall Effect end stop. I don't believe I'm doing that. And it doesn't look like any of these have those holes or that set up. So I'm going to just stick with these. Now I need to put some M5 nuts in here. So let's get those inserted. And I'm really starting to, I don't want to say run out of screws, but I have less and less. So I think that's a good thing. I'm getting in trouble now because most of the boxes for this printer are sitting in the hallway. My daughter in particular is now getting my wife to yell at me to get stuff out of the hall. I have these pieces ready and I'm just gonna move on to the next step. So it looks like, oh, let's see if I can figure this out. So I need the gantry upside down. And so let me get the gantry in here. and We can sort of look at how this needs to go. Now I've oriented my camera. So I'm going to do the first belt right here. So the belt needs to go in all four corners. It's going to be oriented something like this. Let's see if I can get this out. It's going to sit something like this. But the belt right here, the end of the belt going this way. Now, According to the directions, I'm seeing it right down here on my printer. The recommended belt cut length, and this is the nine millimeter wide belt. There's also a six millimeter wide belt. So you want to make sure you have nine millimeter. And it looks like I want to cut this at 1200 millimeters. Now, unfortunately, we use inches here in the US. And I don't have a yardstick that's that long, but this should be about, make sure I have this right, 47 and a quarter inches. Yeah, 47 and about a quarter inch. So that's the cut length I want to use. So what I'm going to do is take my belts out. And well, I'm noticing you know, these belts might already be cut. Let me take those out and take a look, because if that's the case, I'm really happy because then I don't have to cut anything. Yes, and these are already cut to length. So my life just got a heck of a lot easier. I don't need to cut anything. So again, Formbot, I really like you and I like your directions. Um, this makes, again, my life really easy. So I'm just going to lay these belts out. I'm laying them across my lap. Let me get situated, and then we'll get these installed. So the belt's going to go right here. Now what I need to do is just look down here and sort of arrange my T-nuts so they're lined up. So now this is going to be a little awkward because I'm doing this 
basically just me. So I'm taking the belt, laying it down so the teeth of the belt are in the grooves. Then I'm laying my black piece with the accent piece underneath. Now the accent pieces have a little groove in it as well. That groove goes to the top of the belt. Now I've made sure my T-nuts are all lined up. So this should screw into the T-nut down below here. Right now I have that sort of halfway tight. And let me get this other screw in. Now this notch here needs to point out. So it's pointing away from the linear rail. That feels secure. And what I'm going to do is move over to the other side and I'm going to leave this. I'll do this side off camera, but I'll do the motors on camera so you can see those all being done. So I've done one of each. Let me get this put together and I'll come right back. So now I'm doing the motor side and my first step, I just want to arrange the holes. So I need to be able to make sure I can get screws into the T-nuts. So again, just simply taking the belt, I'm lining the belt up. So the, the teeth of the belt are going into the grooves. I'm taking my little black box and then my accent pieces. And I'm simply pushing this down. Now, again, the accent pieces have a groove, so the belt fits in the groove. Now, I'm going to point out in the manual, it doesn't show the belts and pictures. And they actually have a little note on the side about that. So that's not a big deal. Just be aware, because at first I thought, well, I'm not doing something correctly. And I missed the little accent text. Now, again, make sure the notch is going towards the outside. Make sure that's tight. Belts aren't moving. The belts are flush with the outside. Now I'll just do the other side and then we'll move down to the next steps. Now, if you look at the directions carefully, they mention the hall and stop. And just remember, I'm not doing that. So I have all the belts installed. And let me move down and see what else we have. So it looks like we need to basically put in the gantry. So we need to slip that into the frame. And then it's looking like they're using zip ties to hold everything up. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any zip ties. So what I think what I'm going to do is pause, run to the store, grab some longer zip ties. So that way I can just do this exactly as they're showing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so after a quick trip to Harbor Freight, I'm back. I bought some 24 inch zip ties and that's what these are right here i'm using that to hold the frame up um, as per the directions and sort of see that right here in the upper right hand corner the blue marks are basically again just zip ties used to held the gantry up while i work on the belts um, i bought the zip ties again at harbor freight which is in the u.s and I think it cost me $4 for a pack of 10 of them. Again, 10, 24 inch zip ties. And again, that's worth it to me. Makes things easier. I had to make a trip to the store anyway. So what I'm going to do is keep going down to the next section. So I've gone ahead and pulled out these pieces. These are going to go into the carriage. So this is going into the carriage on the X axis linear rail. Now the way this is going to go is the hole right here with the indent it's going to go towards the bottom. The rounded part is going to go against the gantry. And I'm going to use four M320s to put this on each gantry. So what I want to do is I'm going to switch over to my tripod camera, and then we'll see if you can see me do this. Okay, so here is my carriage piece. I'm just going to put this on the carriage like so. Again, the whole rounded part's going towards the top. And then I'm just going to screw this in to the carriage. I want to get one started and then I'm just doing the other corner. I want these snug into the carriage. 
I'm just getting all four in. So all four screws are in. Then basically when I'm ready, this is going to slide up. Go in the center here. So let me do all four corners, get those all situated. Then I'll come back and we'll install this piece, something like this. So give me a second, let me get the other pieces and I'll be right back. Again, sorry for kicking the camera, I apologize. For my next step, I need some M540s. So let me find those, I have to dig through my bags again. So here are the M540s. And the way this is going to work, and this makes sense why the gantry is hanging, I'm gonna need four of these screws. And what I'm doing, and I apologize if the camera's shaking, I'm having some issues getting everything level in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going up through the bottom of that black piece I just put on. Then this is going to go up and screw into that nut. Hopefully. You know what? There it goes. So now I have that corner in. That was pretty simple. I just need to make sure everything clicked in appropriately. Next, I'm going to work on the other corner. So I'll get all the corners in and then I'll come back in a minute and show you the results. Now I have all four corners in. One thing I did need to do was le loosen up the motor here a little bit to give myself a little bit extra play and I've just tightened it back basically to move things around. And I think it has to do with how things are square. Um, right now, it looks like I have all that installed. Next, I wanna work on the belts. So in order to do the belts, I'm going to remove these top pieces here. Let me move the camera so you can see. So I have these pieces right here on all four corners. I wanna loosen those. Those are my belt clamps. So I'm going to loosen those. I'm not going to loosen them all the way, but I want to loosen them so I can fit the belt underneath. So I'm just going to go around and loosen those. So I'm doing this for all four corners. Okay, so I loosened all the corners. There should be enough room under there to slip the belts under. Um, next, I want to mess around and extend the idlers. So let me move the camera so you can see the idler and I'll show you what I need to do. So what I wanna do is there's a screw coming up through the idler. I wanna loosen that screw till it's just about out and then give it four twists. And that should loosen the idler some. And so I'm going to move around. And again, I'll move the camera. I never should move the camera while we're staring at it, but I'm going to do that anyway. And I'm just going up to that screw and I'm just going to loosen things. I'm going to loosen it. And then I want to give it four twists back in and do that for all four sides. So I've loosened up the idlers. And let me proceed to the next step where I'm sure I'm going to need to start routing the belts. I'm going to apologize. This isn't a great angle. But that's the best I can do. What I'm going to need to do is come down. Let's see, come down and I'm going to need to go around the gear down here in the case. And the teeth are going to be towards the gear. I'm just going to push this down. Next, I'm going to need to come up. And then we move some stuff around here. Let's see if I can. Push this up here. Okay. So I've pushed, so I'm slowly but surely feeding the belt through. Now the gear at the bottom is attached to the motor, so it's not spinning well or at all. So now I'm looping this through and the belt's coming towards the bed. So it's coming towards the inside. 
Now I'm going to come up, come around the idler at the top. Then I'm coming down. And this is going to go through here. I'm going to lift this piece up. Oops. Go back through here. There's a hole right in here. Belt's going to need to come up through this hole. I missed that. Okay. Then we're going to go around this idler here at the top of the frame. Then we're going to lift this piece up and slip the belt underneath. Belt teeth should be down. Now, I want to take a look at the directions, see if I need to do any tightening or anything else. Okay, so I want to make sure I can pull the belt tight. I'm going to push this piece down, figure out what driver I need to use. This one. I'm going to pull this tight again. Then I'm going to tighten the belt clip here to hold that belt down in place. Let's say these belts are super tight. They're pretty good. Now, one of the things the direction tells me to do is don't clip this piece. I'm just going to fold this up and then use a small zip tie to hold that to the other belt, to hold that right there. So let me find my zip ties and we'll get that zip tied on. So I basically made a little loop here and then I put zip tied the belt to this part of the belt. So that's all in there. Now I'm going to do the same process for the rest of the Z axis. So let me do that and I'll be right back. It's not quite easy to see here, but I have all the belts run and everything tightened up. And so I feel pretty good with everything. So I have all the Z belts installed and tightened. And now I just need to square up the gantry. And let me see if I can figure out how to do this. So let me undo the zip ties. Now I just need to make sure the gantry itself is square. Okay, to square this, what I'm going to need to do is just push this back. Oops, it might help to take out the little blockers here. Make sure I have all those out. Put those aside. I'm trying to figure out why things aren't moving. Now, what it feels like I need to do is I'm going to loosen this in the back here. Loosen this a little bit. Just move this around just a tiny little bit. Also, loosen the X a little bit, tighten these up. And then what I'm going to do, this isn't sitting flush against the back, I'll show you. This corner's not. So what I'm going to do is just loosen this up a little bit. Loosen both sides. I'm just sliding this around a little bit. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is just tighten these up. Tightening one side at a time. One screw on each side. Hopefully that'll square the frame. If not, I'll put in some other pieces and we'll take a look and see how we can square it. Yeah, that feels good. Feels like it's sliding correctly. Belts are all on there. Everything's set up good. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's really coming together. Now, one thing I'm going to point out I did initially, I moved the PEI sheet off here. 
That way, if I dropped anything, I didn't damage the PEI sheet. So you might want to move that aside. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I appreciate your time today, and I look forward again to talk to you again soon. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.